So brethren, I came across this post quite recently, and I want to go over the statements on this meme message. Because it's very important that a lot of these are being circulated, promoting ideas that are hogwash and illogical nonsense. And this is definitely one of those. Let's begin. The Bible is not original. Well, that is true because the Bible means a book, not manuscripts, Hebrew language, or things written on stone. The problem with this is they are implying that just because it is a Bible book, that's not reliable because it's not original. If I were to say this bag of apples is not the original, what else could I be implying other than these bag of apples or this bag of apples I purchased is not good? Because they are not the apples that were sold before. That would be slandering and question the quality of the bag of apples I recently purchased. Would that make them no good because there were older apples that were sold? No. Stupid thinking. So, so is this person doing the same by making the statement. Just because it's a Bible, most likely he's implying that it's no good because it's not the original. Well, the thing is, nobody has the originals let alone the original Hebrew. So therefore, no source we, we study, whether it be an English Bible or a Hebrew language, is any good because it's not original. So he's against, probably, using any kind of source that's not the original manuscripts, according to him, if he's going to be consistent with that. If that's true, then why do people practice hypocrisy by reading out of an English translation, especially the person that wrote this uh, meme here? Hypocrite. Also, how can this passage be true? 2 Timothy 3, 16-17. Looks like we are, we are worshiping two different gods. Because if you believe what this guy posted in this meme, your God is not the biblical God. Your God is an idiotic, inconsiderate, uncaring, inconsistent prick for not preserving his words like he promised. Psalms 12, 6-7. My God is the opposite of that. He's intelligent, fair, considerate, consistent, and has preserved his words. Hmm. Number two, second statement. It's a translation, a rendering from one language to into another. The original language was Hebrew. Once again, another slandering statement that just because it's a translation from one language into another, that means it's no good and it's obsolete because it's not original. Now, I know he's referring to it by saying the original language was Hebrew, by using the word original by the first statement. Let me give some definitions. Final authority. See these two definitions here? So the phrase final authority actually means the conclusive legal power of the right to command, which is the power derived from the ultimate respect claimed in justification and testified. Is the Bible that? If you say no which in this person's case, no, it has to be original, then there's no point in asking Bible questions or reading out of an English Bible. How about 2 Timothy 3.15? Now from this verse, please explain to me, was Timothy raised on originals or copies of the originals? The answer is obvious. Now in reading this you might, or watching this video, you might be stating, well, translations can't be inspired, Anthony. What school or church did you hear that in? I didn't read, I didn't listen to it or hear it from any school or church. The first time you read an Old Testament verse being quoted in the New Testament, guess what? You're reading an inspired translation. Did you know that? Look at these passages and look them up. The word structure and sentencing are different. Some people claim that the New Testament was written primarily in Hebrew. But there's something that people don't understand. When translating from one language into another, there are not only gaps in phraseology, but different wording order. So if it's the same language, then why is the phraseology order different? Also, it's vitally important to remember that language changes over time. I guarantee you, brethren, the Hebrew people speak today is in Israel is not the same Hebrew they spoke 1,500 years ago. The dialect is different. I can prove it with the Bible's usual flawless logic. Look at English and glance at literature dated back 200 years ago. Like, for example, even further than that, the 1611 KJV. Was it the same English grammar and phraseology? No, certainly not. Let me give some other examples of the originals gone. 
Look those up on your own time. What about translations? Oh, by the way, I'll leave this list of the originals gone and about translations in the description of this video. What about translations? See these examples. Hmm. So, translations were done in the Bible. By the way, <laughs> this is something interesting. Of all people, even James White, like I said, of all people, even the Greeks, the New Testament was primarily, originally, most likely written in Greek, not Hebrew. Now, let me ask you this. The original writers, most likely they spoke Hebrew, but mostly Greek. Why? Because the Roman Empire was over the territory where Israel was located. So most likely they spoke Greek overall. Hebrew, minorly. So when they wrote their scripture, for example, the Gospel of Matthew, would he have written his gospel in Greek or in Hebrew? He wrote it in Greek. Now when he came across a scripture being referenced or quoted from the Old Testament, did he write it in Hebrew? No, he translated it into Greek. Guess what? You have a translation right there. Let me ask you this. Did he translate it perfectly? I mean, that's his original, right? And that the person that this meme is alluding to, it's not original. Well, did he write it perfectly? For his original? If so, then you're saying a person with a sinful nature can translate something perfectly. If that can be done, then why would you believe that God is going to be inconsistent and a moron and not allow a same gift to be done for a committee like, for example, the KJV translators? Could they have done it perfectly too, like Matthew? Who had the same sinful nature as he had? Of course. You see, my God is consistent. Your God is a God of the world or Judaism, which is a false God. You see? <laughs> Moses, I believe, wrote his original autographs. When the time of David came, you cannot find the originals if you search all night. The same with the original of Psalms, Proverbs, and the prophetic writings. By the time of the Lord Jesus Christ, you couldn't find the original prophetic writings if you searched all night, buddy boy. Hebrew has been written with a number of different writing systems. For example, this source from Wikipedia. So which one of them is right? If it changed so many times, there's no way you have the original Hebrew. The fact is from all the evidence, nobody has the original language of any language. The originality, fancy word, of any language is gone. For example, nobody speaks today the original English of the 1611 KJV. Does that mean the KJV is obsolete? No. The 1611 was not perfect in need of correction and revision. The translators even admitted this. The 1769 edition, I believe, is God's perfect standard finalized English text for the English-speaking people. So the person who made this post is contradicting their own thinking. Because now, since nobody has the original Hebrew or the original of any scripture, that means we are all SOL, JWS, so out of luck and jolly well stuck. <laughs> Lastly, under this point, in case you original Hebrew claiming stuff shirts want to believe firmly that we have the original Hebrew, let me ask you these questions. Questions that the person who made this post cannot and will not answer. Number one. How do you know? Were you there to see Moses write his original? Number two, do you have a time machine to go back in time and obtain his original manuscript of what he originally wrote? Three, how can you prove a text or a manuscript you are looking at is the original Hebrew with no date and no way to factually prove it to be the original? Four, shouldn't you just be honest and just admit that you believe it is the original Hebrew with no basis of fact, evidence, or any logical trail of conclusion? There is no logical reason to believe it's the original Hebrew. None. Statement number four in this meme. The father's name was removed or substituted during translation. Many Bible prefaces admit this fact. Rebuttal. How do you know what the Father's name really is? Did you know God has many names and not just one? Here's a screenshot that proves it with scripture. Oh, that's right. You don't believe any Bible is reliable because you said it's not original. Therefore, it's obsolete.
But you are a hypocrite because you read out of an English translation, you moron. God is, has never commanded to say only one Hebrew name or to say any specified Hebrew name for that matter. Also, God never demanded to only use one name. What Bible prefaces admit does not make it a fact. Just because somebody says something that does not make it a fact. Here's another example of a person like this using the word fact real careless. Last quote. Stones predate all Bibles. Ten Commandments, 4200 BCE. Yahuwah, pictograph, Hebrew. Behold, nail, behold, hand, Yahuwah. Whatever that means. Rebuttal. Stones predate all Bibles? What stones? All you show here is a pictograph. What is that? Here's a definition of it from Merriam and Webster de uh, definition. An ancient or prehistoric drawing or painting on a rock wall. One of the symbols belonging to a pictorial graphic system. This is just a picture of the so-called pictograph of some place where it was found that you probably never did see directly yourself. Most likely you're relying on 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, etc. hand information from somebody that could have been making it all up, or at least was sincerely mistaken. How do you know this so-called pictograph of the Ten Commandments predates all Bibles? Were you there when it was originally written? No. Somebody could have written that last week or last year. Does the pictograph or the place where this so-called Perhaps original drawing was observed, say, 4200 BCE? No. Was that written on it? No. So there's no way you can actually date it back to that time. You see how stupid these people are? That just because they say something, oh, that means it's older. That does not mean it's more reliable, even if it was. It doesn't mean that. Older does not mean better. According to historical sources, many people years ago believed the Earth was flat. They believed if you drain blood out of somebody, like, like they did George Washington years ago, they almost killed him, you can drain out the, the bacterial disease. Does that make it accurate? No, it doesn't. You can't base theology and thinking based upon older means better. That's stupid thinking. So brethren, this is a perfect example of another picture meme that is flawed very badly and should not be taken seriously. Love of the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God to keep his commandments, and read and believe the King James Bible. Thanks.